I guess in this video I am going to discuss what left semi chain, right semi chain, left anti semi chain, right anti semi chain in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So this is the tab one table record and yeah, this is the tab two table record. So according to left semi chain, so it returns each row from the first table. So first table is the tab one where at least one matching row in the second table. So at least one matching row it may be more than one but it must be one so if you add square to this query so add here i'm getting 10 20 30 and 40 so add here see this is the tab one and tab two add here this is the returning tab one and at least one matching so there are so many matching values so see at here 10 10 so 10 laptop itself displaying now here that again that font at here 10 10 so this name it's not displaying at here it's a displaying first table so it's a laptop again it's a displaying now 2020 it's okay it's fine now here after 30 30 it's fine but at here 40 and here 40 so 40 40 it's a displaying 40 and here mouse it's a display but here 50 and null 50 and mouse so 50 it's a matching value but at here the value name is the null so that here it's not displaying this output now here after let's see the execution plan select and here execute so see at here this is a nested uh, nested low left semi chain so at here predicates item so this all condition output here so predicate Adam so add here name tap to dot to name and here t2 dot name Adam here name so this is uh, uh, comparing with name and I uh, have inside DOM so add here tab one dot ID and here uh, tab one dot name it's a output list so this is the execution plan here so this is the left semi chain one example now here after if you want to make anti left semi chain so you have to use exact keyword so at here i select name from tab one and name from tab two so at here anti semi chain just opposite of semi uh, left semi chain so anti left semi chain so see at here left anti semi chain so I have to uh, sort the record and here after that going to the tab one and here top and here, that going to tab two. So about the except keyword I already discussed. So and here I'm getting the output. So by using semi chain, left semi chain, I got this output. A uh, laptop mobile keyword here, laptop mobile keyword here mouse but to null that could not be displayed here or uh, adapted and ram it's displaying by using a uh, anti left semi chain so that means so uh, uh, anti left semi chain just opposite of semi chain left semi chain now here after you can achieve anti left semi chain by using this query also so at here you have to use not exit so let's execute this query so see at here or uh, not exits but if you are using see i used except so it's uh, not displaying null values add here this output i'm getting but if you are using this query so this will return everything so add here 50 null so it's uh, just uh, uh, here 60 adapted and here it's uh, also displaying 70 it's a uh, trash tab so whatever left chain that return so uh, it took uh, anti left semi chain it returned or uh, it, it returned non matching values so see at here or uh, this all values adapter ram and here 50 now it's all display so this is the example now if you make uh, uh at here exit and if you execute uh, this query so see at here it's a uh, displaying it's a displaying at a left semi chain.
see so this is the left semi chain so we can achieve left semi chain by using in keyword or exit keyword both now hereafter let's keep not so this is the left anti semi chain now hereafter right semi chain so it returned each row from the second table so previously a left semi chain so it returned left table records but here uh, by using right semi chain so it returned each row from the second table there is a matching row in the first table so it must be what there is a one matching row so let's uh, add skill to this query so see at here it's returning left table values so uh, check now let's copy that one and uh, paste it down so this is the example of the right semi chain so at here name it's all displaying no matter at, at here so laptop laptop mobile keyword here after mouse and null but at here there is a, it's a not displaying adapter ram because first that check matching values so matching value is a 10 here 20 here 30 here 40 and 50 so see at here at here 50 so this is the value 10 so 10 10 match here this is a display laptop and here 10 10 match it's a display laptop here 20 20 match this is a display mobile and here 30 30 match this is a display keyboard and here 40 40 match so see at here it's a display mouse and here 50 so it's a display null so at here 50 50 this time so it's a by using or uh, left to uh, right to semi chain so this time this is a display 50 and null values So this is the execution plan. right semi chain cost 73% tab 1 here 30% and tab 2 it's the 30% now if you want here so select a start from t1 tab 2 so this time id is the id equal to id so add here id equal to id or you can use name also so name equal to name so see at here when you when I applied name equal to name so this value I'm getting so let's check the execution plan so at here right semi chain here so this the things here name and uh, you can apply name equal to name so laptop laptop equal and here when that name equal so the output to a display so that here let's uh, copy this query result so add here uh, ten, uh, laptop laptop it's uh, equal so that here it's a uh, displaying 10 laptop 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 equal so that it's a uh, displaying 10 laptop here after laptop it's not matching with anyone now here after mobile so it match with this only so that here it's a uh, display 20 and mobile so this uh, this value 20 and mobile and here after uh, next is the keyword so keyword is matched with this keyword so add here 30 keyword and here next is mouse so mouse is the match with mouse so add here 40 and mouse it's a display so id is the displaying because of whatever the first they had add here so this should be no matter if you keep add here let's see id name and price okay i've given id name and price now if i'm going to execute so see at here it's a displaying id this values only so it's not displaying price here so if you give at here let's give at here a star and if you include at here only name Okay, now if you add skewed, so it will display all the name here. So these the things. So it's select uh, if you give add a uh, first table, whatever the things, so that will select. Okay, after that to uh, that compare with the name and like that things. So see add here, uh, first uh, that all compare with the ID. So ID it's come from first table, so it's all come from first table. 
Now here after that, so compare. Name compare here. Name. So add here laptop laptop equal. Laptop laptop equal. It's a display. Mobile mobile equal. It's a display. There is no any other words. Here keyboard equal. Keyboard display. And here mouse equal. Mouse display. So null. Uh, we can't get output like this. Now here after. Let's see. So this is the example of uh, right semi chain. Now if you make at here not exit. Now if you execute this query, so at here this output I am getting. So not exit means so this value or whatever or the value select a start from. So that not exit. So yeah, it's a just anti of right semi chain. So let's check the execution plan. So see at here right uh, right anti semi chain. Miss add here name. So add here let's check and compare the output. So see at here it's a displaying null. Because, so first what were the matching values so that not display. So laptop not display, mobile not display, keyword not display. And here null. So null it's a uh, displaying. So add here null adapter RAM and RAM. So we cannot compare null with null here. Yeah. So that it's a uh, displaying null adapter RAM. So this is the all the point related to uh, left semi chain, right semi chain, left anti semi chain, right anti semi chain in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.